A package of proposed bipartisan bills in Madison aimed at reducing childhood obesity. A recent study by the University of Wisconsin found nearly 15% of kids in the state between the ages of 2 and 17 are obese. Jason Zimmerman has taken a look at the proposed legislation. He joins us now from the Fox Valley Newsroom. So Jason, is it specifically the results of this study that, that prompted lawmakers to take action? Exactly, Jeff. You know, lawmakers are looking at those numbers and they're, they're saying that this is a disturbing trend because while you have 15 percent of kids between those ages being obese, that number continues to grow as people age. And if you look at the stat, when most people are 55 years of age in the state of Wisconsin, nearly half are obese by the time they hit that 55-year-old uh, that uh, benchmark. And, and lawmakers say, hey, if we can get kids focused on healthy eating, we can get more physical activity going uh, in the classroom, more active uh, lifestyle, we can uh, reduce the number of people by the time they hit that uh, 50, 55-year-old age mark being uh, obese. And, and even, even so, at a younger age, to have 15% uh, obese lawmakers say that is way too high and they're hoping that what's in these bills will help curb that. All right, Jason, we mentioned a, a package of bills. Can you explain what each one of them entails? Well, there's five different bills being proposed. All of them have bipartisan support, but there's at least three that are quite significant. I know the one making, grabbing all the headlines is would require students in grades K through eight to uh, have at least three hours of physical activity every week in FIAD classes. Now, FIAD classes are mandated uh, to a certain extent in most districts, but not all of the time is spent on physical activity. A good portion is spent on classroom learning as well. This would require students not just to learn about tennis and other sports or other things. They'd actually have to be playing tennis, playing volleyball, playing basketball for at least three hours uh, every single week to, to, to create a lifestyle of physical activity. Another bill would set aside five million dollars in state grants. Now this is a matching grant so it would be open to uh, different organizations at the county level, school districts and other organizations that provide physical fitness activities. They, if they seek out uh, a matching grant from the private sector they can apply to have some of that funding to continue uh, to build upon programs that already exist that promote active lifestyles and, and nutritional activities. And then finally, there is a food share grant, Jeff, that, right. would, that would be created to double the amount of food share money available to people who would want to spend at farmer's markets on stuff on, on like fruits and vegetables. Healthier foods. You mentioned the bipartisan support. Uh, you, you would think then maybe kind of a slam dunk here moving forward? You would think so, but that's not always the case. It's always easier for a bill to be proposed than it is to be signed. We don't know. Uh, obviously, there's support for these bills, but we just don't know how much is out there in the, uh, at a broader level. And obviously, we'll see once it goes through committees, and then potentially there could be a vote on the assembly floor. We haven't heard anything from the Senate. That's a big question as well. We don't know where the governor stands on, on any of this at this point. But likely, we'll see some action in the coming months. All right. Certainly be watching that, Jason. Thank you very much.